In our lap, hands in our lap, voices off, voices off. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in our video today. We will sing and move to Warrior Cry. We will sing Soul Fetish and Match Pitch. We will perform rhythms on buckets and then we will sing this train. So we're going to start with Warrior Cry. Everybody stand up and find your own space to move. Spread out, spread out. Uh, we're going to do it three times. First time on Dante, second time Allegro, and last time is Presto. Okay, and Dante walking this way. Feel the beat in your feet. Here we go. Hook, ale, ale, hook, ale, ale. Tiki, tiki, tom, tom. Tiki, tiki, tom, tom. Bushka, bushka, bushka. Bushka, bushka, bushka. Aria, 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 aria. Allegro. Yes, here we go. Hook, ale, ale, hook, ale, ale, tiki, tiki, tam, tam, tiki, tiki, tam, tam. Bushka, 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 bushka. Ari, 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 all right, relax and have a seat. Find your space, get comfy. Next, we're going to sing solfege. When we sing solfege, your goal is to match pitch with me, make your voice sound like mine. So I'm going to sing some kind of pattern. If you want to challenge yourself to go above and beyond, do those hand signs. That would be a great thing. All right, my turn. Do, re, mi. Your turn. Do, re, mi. My turn. Mi, re, do. Your turn. Mi, re, do. My turn. Do, mi, do. Your turn. Do, mi, do. My turn. Do, mi, so, fa. Your turn. Do, mi, so, fa. My turn. Fa, fa, mi. Your turn. Fa, fa, mi. My turn. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Your turn. Do, re, mi, fa, so. My turn. So la so fa mi. Your turn. So la so fa mi. My turn. Do mi so do. Your turn. Do mi so do. My turn. Do ti do. Your turn. Do ti do. My turn. Do ti la so, your turn. Do ti la so, my turn. So fa mi re do, your turn. So fa mi re do. There we go. Keep working on that. If you want to practice singing solfege on your own, a great way to do it, even though we're not singing solfege, but we're practicing magic pitch, is just to sing along if you listen to Spotify or YouTube or if you have some favorite TikTok songs. Um, you know, if you're driving around with your grown up and listen to the radio and sing along, uh, just sing along with it, yeah, and see if your voice matches the vocalist, the singer. We're going to work on our bucket drumming today, so you'll need to find your bucket or your cardboard box, or your Tupperware container, whatever you use for your drum. And you will need to find your drumsticks, or your pencils, or your markers, or your spoons, or whatever you use for drumsticks. Here I have my three gallon bucket. I have my drumsticks, so I'm ready to go. You need to pause the video and find your things. That is a-okay. All right. So we're going to start um, kind of where we left off last time. We did this a little bit in our, in our week 22 video. 
week 22, day two. If you haven't watched week 22, day two yet, go back and watch that because that sets you up for success today. Week 23, day one. Week 23, there is no day two. It's just week 23 today. Um, so make sure you go back and watch week 22, day two, if you haven't done any bucket drumming stuff yet. Okay, so in our last video, we learned that this part of the drum is called the head of the drum. And whenever we see a note on the staff, like what's above my head, uh, that is the F on the staff, the first space F, that's when we hit the head of the drum. So if I'm looking at the music exercise written above me, I see it's F, 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 F. It's all in that very first space on the staff. So I know that this entire exercise is played on the head of the drum. Um, speaking of what I just said, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta is the rhythm that we are going to be playing today on our drum. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. We play that three times through as we repeat. And then I'm also going to point out the R and the L underneath each note. That stands for right and left. That is what hand you use to hit it. So I'm noticing that the first note is a ta. It is an F, which means it's the head. And I see the letter R underneath it, which means I play with my right hand. Okay, I'm going to play this exercise by myself as you get settled and ready. Um, right now, your job is to listen. Ready? Here I go. Okay, so it's right, left, 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 right. Try it with me. Get your right hand ready on the head of your drum or your box or your Tupperware container. Ready? Here we go. Do the same thing a little faster. Ready? Here we go. Right, left, 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 right, left. Okay, let's do the exact same thing. This time, instead of saying right and left, we're just going to say the rhythm, which is ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ready? Here we go. That was challenging for you. You can go back and redo it. Just reverse your video a little bit um, because it's important to, as we move on that you kind of master each exercise. So if that was challenging for you, go back and redo it. If that was easy for you, uh, you can pause the video also, but what you can do is try to get the speed up to maybe like Allegro or Presto. Okay, let's do this one one more time. A little bit faster than we just did it. Okay, ready? Here we go. Always okay to pause the video and go back and do it. Okay, so that was uh, that exercise we actually did in our last video. It was just a quick review so that we knew what the notation looked like, so we know what the head of the drum uh, looks like on the staff, and so we could talk about right and left. Um, now, everything looks a little different in this one, and that's because we're going to talk about a new part of the drum. Before we had the F, we were hitting the head of the drum. Now I'm seeing on my staff, we no longer have an F note. All of these are C on the staff. And that brings me back to the beginning of the school year when we did our secret word of the day and we said if it's in a space, you use your face. And I see that these are all on C, the third space, F-A-C-E. Um, whenever you see a C, whenever you see a C on the staff, you're gonna hit the rim of the drum. The rim is the part that on my drum forms a circle around the edge. Okay, it's kind of like the corner. Um, so if you have a Tupperware container or a cardboard box, your rim might not be round. It might be like a square, depending on what you're using for your drum. As I'm looking at this, I'm noticing that the rhythm is exactly the same. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, the whole way through. The only difference between this exercise and the one we just did was the last one was on the head. And now we're switching to the rim. When I do the head, I kind of angle my sticks down like this. 
when I do the rim, I angle them like this. Okay. So I'm going to play this one by myself, and then we'll play it a few times together. Here I go. Right, left, right, left, right. All right, so let's try it with me. We're going to go a little slower than I did. Ready? Here we go. Right, left, 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 right, 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 Okay, let's do the same thing, same speed, but now we're going to say the rhythm, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, start with the right hand. Ready? Here we go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Fine. That was challenging for you. You can go back and reverse the video, try it a little bit on your own, go nice and slow to start, and then gradually, little by little, go faster and faster. If you that, thought that that was really easy, you can pause it also, and you can just try to up your speed to like an allegro or a presto speed. Um, see how far and fast you can go. Let's do this one one more time, slightly faster than we just did. So with your hand on the rim. Ready? Here we go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. There we go. Let's move on to our next one. Okay. In this one, you'll see that some of the notes are Fs on the staff and some of them are Cs on the staff. That means sometimes we're going to hit the head, but sometimes we're going to hit the rim. I am also noticing that if you look underneath each of the F spaces, that's where the head is, it always says the letter R underneath. That tells me that every time I hit the head of the drum, for this exercise anyway, I'm going to hit it with my right hand. And every time I see a C, on the staff, which is the rim, um, I see an L underneath it, which means I'm always going to hit the rim with my left hand. So I'm going to play this exercise by myself. Right now, you're just listening. Ready? Now, as I play through these, I'm following with my eyes, just like, you know, as you're reading a book, you read the words from left to right. I'm following each steady beat from the left to the right so that I make sure that I don't go too fast or stop too early. I'm right with the music. Okay, so let's try this together. First thing you're gonna do is right hand on an F, which is the head. Then I'm gonna have my left hand just kind of hanging out over here because it's the second thing I play. So it's just ready. Ready, here we go. Same thing a little faster. Now let's just say the rhythm, which is easy. Ta, ta, ta. ta. Ready? Here we go. Ta, 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 That's challenging for you. Reverse the video a little bit. Take it back a little bit. Go a little slower and work your way up to as fast as we just did. That was easy for you. You can pause the video and go a little faster. See how you do. Let's do this last one one more time. Ready? Here we go. All right. You can put your drum and sticks to the side. And I have my music here. I'm just going to adjust my set a little bit. Okay, we're going to sing a song called This Train. Uh, I'm going to let you read the lyrics first on your own. Remember, 
we read from left to right, top to bottom. I'll do that when I get my guitar out and ready. All right, uh, so I'm going to play through this song. And right now, all I want you to do as you as you finish reading up and as you're listening to me play is just follow along in the music. You can't read all the words. That's okay. We're still working on our, our fluency. I know. We'll get there. <clears throat> Sounds like this. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. Is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory. If you ride it, you must be holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. Okay, that's our whole song. So I'm missing a little piece, and then you're going to sing it back to me. Um, and match pitch. Sing just like when we do our solfege stuff. The only difference between when we do solfege and this is that now we're singing real words. My turn. This train is bound for glory. This train. Sing it with me. Here we go. This train is bound for glory. This train. My turn. This train is bound for glory. This train. My voice goes up high. Sing with me. Ready, go. This train is bound for glory, this train. Let's sing that whole first line of the song. Ready, here we go. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. Okay, next part, my turn. This train is bound for glory. Uh, let's just do that part. I was going to move on. Let's go. Let's just go that part. Sing with me. This train is bound for glory. My turn. If you ride it, you must be holy. Sing with me. If you ride it, you must be holy. Let's sing that second, uh, whole second line. This train is bound for glory. If you ride it, you must be holy. Here we go. This train is bound for glory. If you ride it, you must be holy. Okay, last line. I'm going to sing the whole thing. My turn. This train is bound for glory. This train. Okay, sing that last line with me. This train is bound for glory, this train. Uh, let's sing the whole thing. Here we go. Back to the beginning. Match and pitch. Do our very best. Ready? Here we go. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is All right, we're just going to do uh, a little practice on a, on a singing technique. And that is to really practice where you take your breaths. So I wouldn't want to do, this train is bound for glory, this train. So I'm noticing that throughout this song, there are some notes that last for a long time. Like train, that last train I just sang. After that long train, that would be a great place to take a breath. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. Right there would be a great place to take a breath. This train is bound for glory, if you ride it, you must be holy. Right there you can sneak a breath, but it's got to be a fast one. This train is bound for glory, this train. Okay, so let's just try that. We're going to sing through it again. Just be really aware of where your breaths are. Ready? Here we go. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. If you ride 
and you will be holy. The strain is bound for glory. The strain. Okay, challenge time. You ready? You can take a breath at the very beginning of each line only. So before we sing, this train is bound for glory, this train. You took a breath there? No, you can't take a breath there. You can't take a breath tell after the uh, second time we hold out train. This train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory, this train. There you can take a breath. Let's try it. Ready? This train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory, if you ride it you must be holy, this train is bound for glory, this train. All right, it's always important to think about where you breathe. And that is because we want to make sure that our music sounds as seamless as possible. Um, okay, last time through, I think. Yep, I'm just watching my time. Uh, I just want you to sing it loud and proud. Um, uh, like we've talked about before, this is an African-American spiritual. We've talked about spirituals in the past, and they are songs that were um, traditionally sung by and created by people who were enslaved. And sometimes that... Sometimes they were songs that were um, about sadness and about all the terrible things that they were going through. And sometimes they were meant to inspire. Um, and I think this this song is meant to inspire others and, and to praise the greater power that they believed in. Um, so let's sing it and let's just sing it loud and proud. Okay. Here we go. This train is bound for glory. This train. for singing that with me. What a wonderful song. All right, we only have one thing left to do today, and that's to do our train exit. So breathe with me, Elementary Academy. Here we go. Thank you for making music with me today and this week. Uh, this is our only video that we're having this week, so look back for week 24, day one, uh, when we do some more bucket drumming. All right, thank you for joining me for music today, and we'll see you next week with more music.